Well, it's springtime in Missouri, and that means one thing, tornado season. Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Kevin. Well, as you probably know, over the winter, uh, we mostly use our storm shelter, or as we call it, the bunker, as a root cellar. Now, we grow a lot of uh, root vegetables, so in the fall, when we pick them, our potatoes and sweet potatoes and uh, butternut squash and things like that. Uh, yes, I know butternut squash aren't a root vegetable, so don't correct me on that. So we put all of those down in the root cellar and we store them uh, all winter long. It stays uh, above freezing down there, but it does stay nice and cold. But by this time of year, most of our vegetables are gone and uh, the weather is starting to get crazy. And in fact, this past weekend, we actually had our first two tornado warnings of the season, which meant we had to head down to the storm shelter. Uh, that got me thinking, we don't have it ready yet to keep us safe uh, if there's bad storms. So uh, today I'm going to show you what I've done to uh, prepare for tornado season. Uh, you know, this is how we get the uh, storm shelter ready, the things we keep down in it. And then we also have, you know, another, uh, you know, supply of things in the house. That's a whole different story, how we prepare uh, for bad weather and other disasters in the house. But today I'm going to show you what we do in the storm shelter. All right, let's go down into the bunker and I'll show you what we have down there. Now I did want to touch on a couple points real quick before we go down though, and that is that what we have down here is enough to get us through a couple days if we need to. Uh, you know, it's not a long-term plan to stay down in here for a very long time. Uh, this is just for a couple days. We have other uh, things prepared on other parts of the homestead for longer term emergencies. But uh, the other thing is that we've already notified neighbors that uh, after a bad storm, if there were a tornado that came through, uh, that they should come and check on us. Um, and that's a good thing to have in place with any of your neighbors. Uh, you should go check on them if you're able to and have a plan that they'll come check on you. Just in the off case that, uh, you know, maybe a tree fell and, and blocked us in there and we weren't able to get out. Now, luckily, uh, if I hold my cell phone up way close to one of the vents, I can get cell phone coverage down there. Uh, but that's not a guarantee, especially during bad weather. Let's go down inside. All right, so here we are down inside of the shelter. Uh, this is a solid concrete shelter. Uh, this is designed to hold six to nine people. Uh, so it's plenty big for just the four of us uh, here on the homestead. Uh, I want to show you just a few of the things that we have uh, prepared in case we need to come down here. Now, the first thing is light. Uh, we do have uh, a few options for light down here. Uh, the first one is uh, this right here, uh, which is a solar powered light. Um, I actually have this cord running up through the vent, and then there's a solar panel up top, and this light will charge and will always be down here and ready for us when we need it. Um, but I don't want to just only have one source of light, so we always have to have a backup plan. Uh, so I also have uh, this LED flashlight, uh, which normally I keep in the house near the front door. Uh, this is rechargeable and will last about 10 to 12 hours on a full charge. Um, and that uh, is a very, very bright uh, spotlight. Uh, but what I like about this is that it also came with uh, this little light here, which on the back of this is a USB port. And you can actually plug this little LED bulb into that USB port and it will give you another source of light and this will actually last a really really long time just off the battery in here and the other nice thing about this is in a pinch you can actually plug your phone in here and charge your cell phone off of the battery inside of this uh, this uh, flashlight so I really like that a lot I picked that up on Amazon for like 25 bucks uh, if you're interested I'll put a link in the uh, Amazon shop so you guys can take a look at it there's lots of great ones out there, so do your research and get which one fits your needs. Um, the other thing that we have down here, of course, is our uh, weather radio, uh, which we do get pretty good coverage down here. This grass, the tree pollen count was 14, which was in the low range. So that's important to have. You always want to have a good weather radio and you want to have extra batteries for it in case you're down here uh, longer or for some reason the batteries go dead you want to be able to have 
uh, some way to understand what's going on outside. Uh, so that's kind of our, I, I call that kind of like the control area right there. It's got everything we need, lights, uh, communication, um, you know, that's the go-to place when we first get down here. Now, uh, we've also brought down uh, some five gallon buckets that we use for chairs uh, that we sit on while we're down here. Um, and you can see uh, we've got one bucket for each of us. We have our names on them. And each of our buckets holds things that we think we'll need uh, while we're down here or things that I think we'll need while we're down here in the case of the kids. Uh, so every uh, bucket uh, has a, a few things uh, guaranteed. Uh, each one has a blanket in it uh, because it does get pretty chilly down here, especially at night. Uh, each one has uh, some toilet paper because we have a composting toilet down here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then each one has some snacks or some, at least some amount of food uh, that we can have while we're down here. Now we have a rule um, that the kids argue about every time we come down, but that is not eating any of the snack foods unless we're down here for four hours or more. Um, over four hours and we might have a little snack but most of the time we're going to save the food in case we're really down here for a long time but the kids they want their food as soon as we get down here suddenly they're all starving to death after we're down here for five minutes so um, but let me show you uh, I'll show you what I have in my bucket of course a blanket like I said some band-aids uh, in case we need those. Extra batteries for the uh, radio. Charging cord for my cell phone. Uh, can opener because we do have some canned goods down here. Uh, this is a uh, saw uh, in case uh, you know when we you don't know what you're gonna find when you come out of the shelter if there's been a storm. Uh, you may need to, uh, you know, be able to do some work right away. So just a folding saw and some work gloves. A cup for some water. Some matches and a lighter. And some ibuprofen. So, you know, just the real basics. Uh, nothing, nothing to go overboard with. Uh, but just some of the basics that I think, you know, would come in handy if uh, we need them. Hopefully we never will. We also have some magazines and books that we brought down uh, just to keep us busy, you know. It can get pretty uh, boring sitting down here, so, uh, you know, the kids have games and playing cards and things like that in their buckets. Uh, we have magazines and books to read, so uh, just to make the time go by a little faster. In this uh, container here, we have some more food items. I have some candles, uh, some emergency liquid candles, uh, which... Uh, if you haven't seen the video that I did a while back on how to make your own emergency candles, uh, I'll leave a link to that up here. Uh, but I suggest, especially getting into storm season, uh, if you don't have some emergency candles, go ahead and make yourself some. Uh, they work really well and they last a long time. Uh, let's go look over here on the other side of the bunker and I'll show you what we have over there. All right, so here's the stairs going down into the uh, bunker. And there's quite a bit of storage under the stairs. Um, over here I have our uh, camping uh, composting toilet. Um, it's just a, a lid that fits on a five gallon bucket. And then I have some wood chips already down in there. Um, and then I have uh, more bags of wood chips here under the stairs in case we need them. And then I did install a shower curtain here to uh, just give a little privacy if you need it. I also have about 15 gallons of water stored down here under the stairs. Um, and that's why we all have a cup in our buckets. So if we get thirsty while we're down here, uh, we do have some water. But again, uh, just like the food, uh, we don't just start drinking that the second we get down here. So uh, because to be honest, nobody really wants to use the toilet while they're down here. So um, so that's that's our preps down here in the uh, bunker. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, I know you can go very overboard, you can get, you know, you can spend a lot of money buying a lot of fancy things, but uh, if you've been watching our channel, you know we're not fancy people, we try to keep it simple. So, uh, this is what we do, like I said, uh, we do have other preps around the homestead, uh, generator and you know, more food and things uh, for a longer term situation, but this is, um, 
you know, this is what we do if we need to come down here in a hurry. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if this is your first time here, this would be a great time to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists who comes back every day, thank you so much for the support. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.